Hello IOTA community and Shimmer fans, welcome back to Minted Vodka. Today's topic is how to mint NFTs on the Shimmer testnet. Please make sure to see the first video about Shimmer introduction to see how to connect to this testnet and also how to get some faucet coins so that you are able to do some transactions. And also there's yet another video about minting on Minted Vodka that you may find helpful. So what we are going to mint together is a collection of shipwreck paintings. There's already one collection on Minted Vodka on another chain called Telos Chain and this one, the second, is going to be minted on Shimmer. You may notice that these paintings are generated by artificial intelligence. I like it a lot, for me it's generative art, it's uh, basically technology assisted art form. You know what, maybe Maybe I should create a separate video about how this is done, how it is created, and perhaps we can even run some minting competitions for AI art on Shimmer in the future. But for now we are going to mint these paintings and also I've created a separate collection image and I will show you in a minute what it is used for. So there are several reasons why you want to mint on Minted Vodka. First of all, all NFTs minted on Minted Vodka are multi-chain and can be bridged across all the chains that we support. Second, the IPFS hosting or pinning of the artwork is automatically done for you. And finally, a flexible collection ownership, which is very, very useful. Okay, so first thing to do is to make sure that we are connected with the Shimmer testnet and also that we have some tokens uh, so that we are able to perform transactions on the chain. Next step, click on create NFTs and then create a new collection. Here we select the network where we want to mint and also which type of NFT we want to mint. In the future we are going to add some more NFT types like layered minting or software minting for example. So yeah, let's click on it and on finish your collection. So here we are going to provide some basic information about the collection, including the collection logo or collection banner. It's the same image that we've seen earlier in this case. All right, now we have the image. Let's add some name to the collection, which is going to be Shipwrecks Season 2. There's already Season 1, as I said, on the Telos chain and copy paste the description. All right, let's submit it. Publish it to the IPFS, which is interplanetary file system completely distributed and mint the collection. And what happens now is that we are actually going to mint an NFT. And this NFT is a collection key, which gives you the ownership of this collection and the ability to modify the collection. Let's see. And here's the collection key. So as I said on the chain it's already a non-fungible token. So it has an image attached to it and also you can trade it. For example you can add it to a deal. You can also send it to somebody uh, just like any other NFT. You can bridge it on Minted Vodka to another chain and use it there. Or you can even burn it. So uh, the idea behind burning is that nobody owns the key and then nobody can modify this collection. As long as you have the key, you have the NFT, you can mint new items into this collection. This may be an important signal to the collectors that this collection is not going to be modified anymore and will remain just as it is. So now we have this powerful ownership tool. Let's start using it by minting some new items. So the way to do it is click on mint new item in the key and start by selecting or dropping an image file. Okay, next we are going to give this NFT a name. Let's say shipwreck season two, episode one and give it a funky name, maybe something like mm, Forsaken Waters. All right, let's submit it. And it's basically the same. You also publish this to IPFS. It's done for you. 
And then you select the amount, how many NFTs of this type you want to mint. So let's say two. All right, click apply and create new item. So now let's confirm the transaction and pay the very low transaction fees. By the way, you can always confirm in your wallet that you're actually paying, but in uh, this case, the fees are very, very low. Okay, so this is NFT that you have minted, two pieces of them. But wait a minute, uh, we wanted to have three, right? In this case, you can always modify it and mint additional items. So let's do it. We will just mint one, click on apply and mint it into your address. Apply. And of course, we need to pay the transaction fees on the chain for the minting. Confirm. And then simply click on the refresh button to see all the three items on the user interface. Now you can continue with the minting by clicking on the collection. Now you see the collection items which belong to it. And you can also either go to your collection key or simply continue minting items. Let me finish the collection real quick and then I'll show you something else that you want to do after you've minted your first collection. So here it is, the whole collection minted. There are 20 different paintings, but each one of them is minted three times. So in total, there are 60 NFTs in this collection. The last thing that you may want to do is to publish an NFT creator profile on Minted Vodka so that people can easier discover you as a creator, as an artist, and also all the deals and all the collections that you have minted. There's a separate video about it uh, on this YouTube channel. I'm going to link it in the video description. And that's it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can bridge your NFTs to another chain. It's important if you later, for example, want to move your NFT from the testnet to the mainnet of Shimmer VM once it is launched. So see you soon.